So I'm going to look at my Mac Pro today. I want to upgrade the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth because I want to use the Dustin Watts free touch stick with my computer when I do live streams. So I need to upgrade the Bluetooth on this thing so that I can then use the free touch stick with it because the Bluetooth and this is too old. And there's a bit involved so I thought I'd do a video on it because it's probably going to help other people out. So what I purchased is a couple of things which I found on, listed online and I've got a adapter here with some cabling and also I've got a different version here which is the actual car itself on an adapter and I've also got some plain UFL extension cables which are massively long I think they're way longer than I actually need but at least it's going to be long enough that's for the Bluetooth connection it could be a disaster, it could be easy we'll find out let's get this thing pulled apart now something you should always do when you're pulling computers apart if you've got one use an ESD strap right? just in case you zap something you don't want to break your CPU or your RAM or something like that. It could be quite costly and troublesome or could even completely destroy the computer. So I have an ESD strap. I'm going to be wearing it. I am also working on ESD mat. So this mat is actually grounded. Anything I do, if I'm touching the mat and stuff like that, helps to dissipate anything. You see me touching the casing a lot as well to make sure there's no potential between the casing and me. That kind of thing. All these little things just help to make sure there's no static charge build up. I'm also wearing cotton, I don't wear nylons or anything like that, I don't wear any plastics for exactly the same reason. Okay, let's get started. Now what I do like about these is that they're really easy to get into. Now with a bit of dust in here, I'm sure you don't really care about that part. I need to give this thing a good clean out as well before I put it back together. So I'll pull this tray out, CPU tray. Okay, do not drop this for obvious reasons. This also needs de dusting. I'll do that before I put it back in. Right, so now you've got the tray out of the way. Let's show you inside here. So there's the Bluetooth module over there, and over here is the Wi Fi module. Now, this has only got two wires going to it. I believe there's a third one, which is probably just tucked out of the way right now. There's also a wire there on the right hand side, which is the Bluetooth antenna cable, which I need to bring over to here. Now one of the tricky things is that this has got this basically a USB card really, it actually runs off USB, it's actually a USB port. So what I've actually could do is um, connect up to the data pins on this connector from over here. Right, there's a wire you have to run across, hook it up to that, those data pins and make sure we get those the right around. So something to watch out for is this connector here which is what connects all the CPU and everything up to the main board. Do not touch that connector, it's got really small pins in there, if you bend one of those pins you're in a world of pain. So don't touch that connector. Right, got it. So what I'm actually going to do, I've got my iFixit toolkit out here. I've got my little screwdriver, which is a PH0 size screw bit. Now this Bluetooth card, because we're actually disconnecting everything from it, we can actually leave the card in place and just leave it there. That way it can always be reverted to the original factory card, if that's ever necessary for some reason. So you just leave the card in there and unplug everything from it, and just leave it there. This card over here in the PCIe slot, that's got to come out because we've got to put the adapter in there. So I've got some UFL connectors on here which you've got to take out and a couple of screws and we'll pop that card out and then we can look at swapping it all out. Now fortunately my hands will get in the way during the process so I'm afraid you have to bear with that. So the first thing I'll do is pull these antenna cables off because we need to get those out of the way so they don't get damaged. Grab the sides and just pull them out. I'm using some angle tweezers here. There's one. There's two. There's a third wire. I think it's just tucked behind the back there because this particular car didn't use it. So let's get these screws out. Now, I don't know if these are stainless screws or not. I'm going to hold on to the screws and pull it out. Oh, it is slightly magnetic. It is. There you can't see it on camera. The other screw. It's good not to drop screws anyway because who knows where they're going to disappear to. Okay, you can see the card's already wanting to fall out. Get in here and slide it out the socket. There we go, and I've just dropped it outside the chassis. There we go, there's the card out. Alright, so there's the original Wi Fi card. So I'm going to put this away somewhere safe so I don't lose it. So I was going to do the same sort of thing, except I'm not going to take the card out, I'm going to leave the card in place. So there's the connector, we'll pull this off. Come on, there we go. And then we've got this cable here, which is actually a USB cable. So I should hopefully get my tweezers in there and be able to wiggle it out. There we go. That's the connector out. So like I said, I'm going to leave this in place. I'm not going to remove the board. I'm just going to leave it there 
tuck it out of the way like that and that'll be fine. And there's the connectors I need to get onto. So I've got a bit of heat shrink tubing now. And I will just put a bit of heat on that, just a little bit, just to help hold it in place. Alright, so I've now started threading this wire through. I've got it threaded through the back here, behind that wire, behind this frame. It's got like a, a channel here which you can sit into. So I'm just going to tuck it into there and then we'll hook it all up at this end and then we've got to sort out that wiring for the data cables for the USB. Well, let's just get this board in next. So this is the other pack which I purchased which didn't come cables stuff like that. It's just a different adapter type. It comes with screws and it's got a little screwdriver with it too but I've got this other one anyway. So let's get this out and hopefully not lose the screws that came with it. Here it is. Basically what we've got to do, we've got to screw this adapter into that board, but on the back we've got these connectors here which you have to hook up. There okay. So it's got screws to mount it on, it's got screws to mount this board on. I need to sort of screw through in the back of the board from here to get these connectors on there. And I've got to attach these cables. So we've got marked as J0, J1, J2, J3. I'm not sure which one's a Bluetooth one. So it turns out the kit that I bought didn't actually come with the right connectors and stuff I needed so I actually had to do some manual work on this to make this happen. So what I've had to do is wire on these wires onto here, solder those on manually onto here because the other kit which the wiring came with was actually for this adapter here which has got the plug built into it but what I had to do is I had to use that plug to use it over there at the logic board because that's where the socket is because it didn't come with the right connectors to interface the board properly. So I thought I ordered the one for this particular computer. It didn't come that way. So I've had to adapt it, but you know, never mind. So the Bluetooth wire goes onto J3 apparently. So I've hooked up a J3 on this board already. What I'm just trying to figure out now is how I go about mounting all this together because this needs to be screwed to this board, but the connectors also need to be put on, but you can't get to these connectors once it's screwed onto the board. Or a couple of them anyway. So I think I need to hook these up and then try and get on and then try and do it in place but there really isn't a lot of wire here to work with so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to manage that. It's a bit tricky. Alright so I've got the wires on so I've mounted them on the board and now what I've got to do is mount the board onto the adapter and then screw it on and then flip it all over and screw it down onto the logic board. Now I can only screw it down to one screw once I've got that on there because there's only actually one screw that's available. It's a bit of a shame, but that's all you can do. All right, so I've got it mounted in there. It's a bit fiddly, like I said, but it's all in. Now these cables here, like it's red and black wire, but they're not actually power wires. They're data wires, right? Data minus, data plus. So that's USB communications. That's what that wire does. So this connector over here is using the top two pins. The data minus going to the top pin, data positive going to the second pin down. But that's basically installed now. That end's done, this end's done. We'll put the CPU card back in again and fire it up and see if it works. So here we are in the system information panel. I've got Bluetooth selected. As you can see it shines Broadcom. And if you look down here, you've got HCI, LMP versions, both say version four. So those look promising. Down in the USB section down here, we actually have the hub. So don't forget it's running on a USB bus, the internal USB bus. It's showing as an Apple Inc device and Broadcom, so it's actually showing up as the correct devices. That looks fine. Check the Wi-Fi out. Here's the Wi-Fi info, and it's showing as an Etsy rather than FCC version, but I don't think it really matters. But it's got Wacom Wireless, AirDrops enabled, which is what we should be seeing. It's got a Broadcom VCM 43XX firmware version, and these are all the channels. So that looks like it's doing all the right stuff. That looks absolutely fine. Now, unfortunately, I still can't get the free touch deck to work with it like properly, but I have it connected, but I can't seem to get the communication right. I'm probably doing something wrong. I'll get that sorted out, I'm sure. But at the moment, at least I've got upgraded Wi Fi, which does AC. It does work. AC Wi Fi is working, as well as the uh, Bluetooth connection to my phone and stuff like that, and doing airdrop from the phone to the computer, and that's all working. So, now if you get subscribed, put the bell icon, all that usual stuff. Click like, subscribe. Click like, subscribe. Bye. So, I'm going to work on my MacBook here.
That's not a MacBook, is it? That's a good outtake. It's a bit bigger than a MacBook. <laughs>